This is how I always come in. Hello, hello, my pretty darlings. Welcome to this video. Pretty much since day one, people ask me if I'll ever do a face reveal, so why not celebrating 2020 with a face reveal video? Even though I already had my faces all sorts of places online, I guess nobody ever thought to look. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, so yeah, let's just say this is the official video. Okay, so now since I actually want this video to have some sort of content, it's not just gonna be a few minutes of me going... I decided to make it a Q&A video because that's easy. So a week ago I asked on my social medias if anyone has any questions for me and holy shit. So how about we just look at the YouTube ones this time and I'll answer the most requested one. I still probably won't have time to answer all of them, but um, you know what? Let's do our best. Worst case scenario, I can always do another one. Loading. Okay, so I actually did look briefly at the questions, but I didn't try to answer them yet. Like, nothing scripted, it's just from the top of my head with my somewhat okay English. So, let's get started. What inspired you to make the Vampire series? Also, how long have you been an animator? I love your work. Oh, thank you. Um, okay, so the thing that inspired me to make the Vampire series was basically Voltaire's music, especially The Night. In case you didn't know, Voltaire is uh, the guy who basically I use his songs to voice Duke's character. Um, I really like his music, he's the person who basically got me into goths to begin with. And he does inspire me, a lot of his songs inspired me, but like The Night was the one I really wanted to do for a long time and then I actually did it for my graduation project. Uh, how long have I been an animator? I basically started since uh, first year of college. Like before that I was always a comic book artist. Like I had a very long running series of comic books called Element Beach since I was basically 13 years old and it's fucking garbage. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll get to riff on it one day for getting swelled, but it's like, it's so bad, like, uh, I really don't want to do that. Um, but yeah, so I've been a comic book artist for a long time, I got into animation at my first year of college. It's actually kind of a funny story because we needed to do two video assignments, and since I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to videos, um, basically, the first one was a one minute video, and it was so bad and cringy and I hated it, so next week when they told us we needed to do a longer project which was five minutes long video any format we wanted as long as it's a five minutes long video i basically said fuck that i'm not going through that again and i did an animation because that counts as a video so here i am making a five minutes long video in a month and if you're interested i actually have that video on my channel and it's really bad but whatever it's called color Oh, show up somewhere. It's pretty bad, but like, eh, maybe I'll find it funny, I don't know. Uh, moving on. How far are you planning the story surrounding Duke and Missy? Like, are we getting a whole universe and are there gonna be more characters? Also, is there a part of the story you're waiting that changed drastically over the time? You are making the animatics. I got really weird, I'm sorry. Okay, so how far am I planning this story? So far I have basically three seasons. The first one, which is that one. Um, it's about the both of them, the second one is gonna be mostly about Duke, the third one... The, the third one is gonna be mostly about Missy. The first season, the one we're currently in, um, it has two more episodes left. So it's gonna be the showdown and then the season finale, which... Well, it's gonna wrap up everything. And if anything changed drastically since the animatics... Well... I guess... I wouldn't say it changed drastically, especially not the first season. The first season is pretty airtight, so um, the second and third ones are less uh, linear, so I can change it more easily. But I pretty much have a plan for everything that's kind of going to happen. If I'm gonna add a new clip or remove one, that could happen, but it's basically... I have it all figured out. How did you manage to balance your time when you were working with the Has Been Hotel pilot episode and to your own animated series? Um, okay, so some of you didn't know that, but I actually did work on the Has Been Hotel pilot and it was loads of fun, it was probably um, the most fun project I did aside from the Vampire series pretty much. And how I managed to balance my time? Uh, I, I do a very bad job balancing my time actually, I cannot 
multitask for shit. If I have to work on some project, I have to put the other ones away. Like I can only work on one thing at a time. So while I was working on the has been clip, I basically didn't work on the vampire series like at all. Or maybe I worked on it very little. And also my work for has been was like you know, I would get like a bit to animate and then it would be like a lot of time with nothing and then I would get another few seconds. So every time I would wait for another bit to animate, I would move on to my project. But yeah, it's, um, it's very hard for me to do more than one thing at a time. So I'm just gonna have to stop what I'm doing to do the other thing. Who are some artists that inspire you and your work? Uh, well, Vivzipop, luckily for me, she inspired me a lot, actually. I used to watch Die Young every day while I was making the night to get inspired to animate. So it was very cool working with her, actually. That was, um, that was actually like a dream of mine. Uh, another artist I inspired a lot by is a comic book artist that I got from Mina, also known to you as, um, as Admin Chan, who writes a comic book called Low Olympus. If you haven't heard of it, go check it out, it's very cool. So they have such a cool art style, like it, it looks nothing like the vampire series and it mostly, I think it looks good for a comic book but it probably won't look that good for animation, which is weird because they're gonna make an animated series of that. I don't know. Uh, I don't know that many artists other than that because like, I don't really tend to follow an artist. I mean I guess Tim Burton is kinda cool but like, hmm. Yeah, I don't know if Voltaire counts as an artist, like I guess he is. But I'm mostly inspired by his music and less by his art, even though he is himself an animator. Although he's a stop-motion animator, so that's a little bit different. Um, I'm mostly motivated by him, so yeah, Viv the Pop is kind of like my source of inspiration and also the Low Olympus um, illustrator. I forgot her name, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to check it out later. Um, okay. So, what do you plan to do when you finish the Vampire series? Oh, I'm sorry. They wrote the Vampire series. What a common misconception. Um, what am I planning to do? I guess I'm just gonna move on to other freelance work. Maybe I'll try to advance on the circus a bit more. Although it's pretty half-baked, I'm still not quite sure what to do with it, aside from the character's design. But since I have so many clips planned for the Vampire series, I'm not really... The only reason I would stop doing that is if people would legit just get bored and move on. Is there any character that you created but then remove and never use in the series? Uh, no. If anything, there are more characters I need to introduce, but that would happen later on. Which version of Missy is your favorite? Um, the vampire one, duh. What was your inspiration for Missy's look, if there was any? Huh. Okay, that's an interesting one, because vampire Missy didn't actually have an inspiration, I just kind of like... Okay, let's draw some goth chick. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's kind of anticlimactic, but that's really how it happened. Human Missy, on the other hand, Oh god, that's so awkward, but um, she's kind of inspired by Doki Me from high school. We had the same shirt. I know it's black and white, but um, yeah, it was basically those colors. And the ponytail and the glasses. She's way taller than me though. Does Duke has any family we don't know about? Ah uh, yes, he does, but that's for the second season. How old was you when you started doing animations? Uh, let's see, first year of college. Yeah, I was 20 years old. And before you think I was way too old to be a first year of college, like why am I 20 and not 18? That's because I was in the military for two years and wasted my time there before I started college, as we do in my country. Oh, that's my cat. Excuse me. Come on. Hey. This is HP Bubbles. He's my new cat. And he's evil. Okay, moving on. I swear to god if you knock down my mic I'm gonna fucking sell your soul. How did you come up with the designs for your characters? Okay, so we already went through Mrs. Design. Uh, let's talk about Dukes because that one's actually kind of funny. Okay, so originally... <sighs> Duke was meant to look a lot more like Voltaire from Almost Human, which is where the... Um, the knight came from. He was way younger there, so he looked kind of different. That's basically what he used to look like. Babs. I showed it to my teacher, and then he said, why does he look like just some dude from your high school yearbook? And basically, he helped me redesign his current design 
and also gave him his signature giant nose. So yeah, it all turned out fairly well. He looks way more interesting now, so I'm happy with that. I love everything that you do. What are your plans moving forward after the vampire series? What about Mina-chan? What are her plans moving forward? Love ya and can't wait. Okay, so I already talked about what my plans moving forward, kind of. I don't know, just sticking to the vampire series for now. Mina, like... Okay, so if you don't know, Mina actually has her own series called Threnody, so you can go and follow her in her channel if you want to know. And what's her plans? I don't know. I'm only briefly familiar with Randy, and also I don't want to give spoilers, so my recommendation, go follow her channel. When and why did you start drawing and animating? By the way, love your works, I realized I haven't sub yet, oh my god. Well, basically, I guess I just started drawing like any other human would at the age of four, and it was really fun, so I kept it going, but I guess I didn't really get into drawing seriously until I was basically 13 years old. That's when I used to draw comics all the fucking time, so moving from comics to animating was actually pretty simple. A natural progression of life. How do you pick music for your animations? Okay, so this is gonna be a hard one to answer, but um, basically... So I listen to music all the time, and then occasionally I do come up with a song, and I think to myself, well, that sounds like it could happen. So... Then I just, sometimes I have to tweak it a little bit, sometimes the songs don't perfectly fit into the series, like the whole, so you say it's not okay to be gay thing. If I could take that line out, I would have, because it makes no sense, but, you know, you gotta work with what you have. I just pick whatever song works for my narrative. Sometimes I even change the narrative to fit the song better, but at the end of the day, it all kind of comes together. Are there going to be a Vampire Hunter in the future Vampire episodes? Yes, but I can't tell you too much now because that would ruin everything. When is the Cirque de Ziac show going to be released? Can you tell us anything about that plot? Um, well, I can't tell you yet when it's gonna be released. I do plan on doing a little bit of animation tests for it, but the story is kind of... Well, not kind of. The story is very half-baked right now, and I still want to do a lot of other vampire series, and also I'm pretty sure most people wait more for vampire episodes than the circus. Maybe someday before I start doing the circus series, I would start off with just a comic book about it, because it's just gonna be easier. And I can't really tell you anything about the plot, because unfortunately, it's still not coherent. It's mostly about dead people. Congrats for the success of your series, Daria. I was wondering if you have any tips for beginner animators, or if you ever plan on making a video with tips. Actually, I do want to make a video with tips. I just don't know how to start because I feel like I'm gonna be a shitty teacher. Um, if I have any tips for you, basically... Don't have a cat, I always ruin your video. Now, if I have any tips for you, um, I would say... Start with exercises, there are a lot of lists of just exercises for animation online. Once you master the principles of animation, then you can move on to do whatever you want. At the end of the day, keep in mind that animation is very time consuming, so if you're not fully in for that, I wouldn't even go near animation. What music do you like? Is Voltaire your favorite artist? Well, Voltaire is my favorite musician. Uh, other music I like is Electro Swing, Golf Cabaret, Classical Music. Golf Cabaret isn't really a genre. It's Dal Cabaret, yeah. Um, what else? Oh, and musicals. Love musicals. Do you make a living on your animations alone, or do you have other works outside of YouTube? Well, actually, I make almost fuck all from YouTube, so it's all about my Patreon. I do make a living off of it, but it's very dodgy. Like, I really have to cut back on a lot of stuff, because it's not a lot of money, but, you know, it does end up keeping the series alive. So this is the time for some shameless plug-in. If you want to support me on Patreon, there's a link in the description below. And it will help me a lot, because Patreon is basically the only thing I can rely on to keep the series alive. Um, aside from that, I do have a store where I sell my prints, and I'll put a link to that description as well. So I've been thinking of doing some commission work from the side, just in case I would want to buy other things. I have a cat now, I have to look after it. A baby. Um, so yeah, maybe in the near future I would start doing very, very quick commissions because I want to put as much time for the animation as possible. 
Have you gone to a concert of Voltaire? No, I haven't been to a live concert of his, but I would love to. Did Voltaire notice you sometime for your animation? Uh, yeah, he actually... I'm pretty sure he knows about me by now because he does occasionally mention me in one of the live shows. Raise your hand, raise your hand if you're a college student. Because about two years ago, a college student from Israel sent me an email and she said, hey, can I use one of your songs? to make an animated video as my thesis project. I'm an animator. I expected to never get a reply, but like a year later, she shows me this video she made for my song, The Night. <laughs> didn't really, didn't really, I mean, I thought it was really super amazing, but I didn't think much of it at the time. And then it went crazy viral. And there's some of you here tonight who never heard of me until you saw this viral video. So, if you never felt as a college student that you had any power, know that my life is completely controlled now by a college student from Israel, all right? It's a shame he still thinks I'm a student. That's actually kind of funny. I graduated four years ago. Somebody should probably tell him. Okay, so I've been going on for a while. I'm probably just going to do one more question and then I'm going to call it a day. How did you discover Voltaire, that amazing singer and the voice of Duke? Love your art and the story you're telling is really great. Thank you for the hard work. Okay, so it actually is a pretty interesting story of how I discovered Voltaire. It's very... it's unlike the um, usual story. Most people heard of him via Brains from Billy and Mandy or When You're Evil. I have a different story, but that's for another video. Anyway, that was all for this video. Maybe in the future I'm going to do another one. It was pretty fun. I'm gonna go and edit this video out so thank you all for watching there's gonna be more content coming i'm gonna go back to working on the showdown which i'm sure everybody wants to see i'm actually surprised nobody asked me how long till the showdown comes out because people ask me that all the time on my patreon there's a monthly update for all my patrons and i inform them exactly what's going on there so thank you all so much for watching me and supporting me you guys are amazing and i'll see you next time Stay spooky, my pretty darlings. Bye-bye.